Okay, let's create an IPv6 subnet calculator. So I've got my spreadsheet right here, and if you want to follow along, all the cells you see here, none of them have any formulas in them. So this is just, they're just text and it's formulated this way. Maybe I'll get a version of this file, the beginner file, and I'll post it in the video description on YouTube. If you look in the video description, I'll post a version of this file, the starter file. So here we go. We're going to start with basically putting a formula here to convert this to decimal. So I'm going to go right here. I want to convert this uh, 2001 into decimal. So we'll say equals hex to decimal. And then I want to convert a two. So hex to des in between parentheses a2 and check mark and that converts 2001 into decimal and then I'm going to distribute that here okay and then what I want to do is I'm going to copy it with a control C I'm going to skip a cell and I'll paste it here and then I'll distribute it again with the fill handle so now I have this hextet converted to decimal, this hextet converted to decimal, this hextet converted to decimal, this one, this one, and this one. Oh, and I missed one, so I'll do one more. So now I have all of them. Now this, this fourth hextet, however, I'm going to go the opposite way. I'm going to convert from decimal into hex here. And I'm going to do that the opposite way. I'm going to change this 55 to 8,891 and then I'll go into this cell and I'm gonna say equals decimal to hex and the, the, the cell that I'm targeting is D1 and I want it to go two places I want uh, actually no four places I want the hex code to be in four places so there you have it so, you know, that's pretty good. Now, one of the reasons that I did it this way is this is the subnet hextet, right? In other words, this, in your hextet, in your IPv6 address, the subnetting portion of the address is this hextet, right? So the fourth one. So this is where we're working that. And now, depending on what I put in here, like if I put 55 and I click here, it'll show up as 0037, which is hex 0, hex 0, and 37. However, over here, if I was to try to put 37, right, it's not hex, so it just shows up as 37. I don't get to see the double zeros. So that's kind of a bummer here. So um, in other words, because this is not hex, it automatically, Excel is automatically trimming the zeros for me. So. I just did it that way because I thought this would be a good way to do it. All right, next thing we need to do is we need to convert this into binary. So we're going to convert our IPv6 address, 2001 DB8 FFFF 0037 1128 E30B AF32 3893. We convert it into binary. So we go into this cell here and we'll say equals the base function. And the base function, what I'm going to provide it with is we're converting A1, which is 2001 in hex, right? Written in decimal is 8,193. I'm going to convert 8,193. And then I can put a comma here and say I want to convert it to base 2. So you just put a 2 here. And I want it to go 16 places. So I need 16 bits here. And that's why I'm using the base function, uh, the base function here. So now I end up converting 8,193 to 16 bits. Now, if you try to do it with um, a decimal to binary conversion, it doesn't work. So what I'm, what I'll show you is, like, if I if I go here and I say equals decimal to binary, and I put a one comma and I put 16 bits which is the equivalent of four hexadecimal characters it just doesn't work so I have to use the base function 
and I put a one and base two and 16 bits and it'll work and I can convert the decimal um, conversion of 2001 which is my representation of what it would be in hex and just not really hex it's actually just 2001 converted to decimal converted to binary and that's what you got to do and so then I'll just distribute that here over okay and I want to change this 55 here let's just double check it's working to 8891 okay 8891 and that converts it to 22BB and there it is converted into binary and I'm going to continue distributing this formula using the fill handle so there it is there's my hex address my IPv6 address in hexadecimal essentially converted into binary now the next thing that I want to do is I want to convert the slash 64 prefix here and right now we're dealing with slash 64 I want to convert that slash 64 into my prefix here to convert the network prefix length slash 64 I've actually written the um, the prefix down here in hexadecimal format format in other words FFFF 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 and then 0000 so that would be slash 64 here right that would be basically what a, a slash 64 mask would look like in right hexadecimal if it was a mask so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that to convert it go here and I'll say equals and I'm gonna say I need to convert it so it's going to be hex two decimal and it is a 13 and hex to decimal a 13 and I'll hit check so that converts my FFFF here to decimal and then I'm gonna distribute that all the way across okay so now I have basically what the slash 64 network prefix would look like right here okay converted to decimal now what I can do is I can convert this decimal number to 16 bits here binary so to do that I'll go here and I'll also use the base function so base I want to convert a12 to base 2 using 16 bits which is four hex characters and check so there it is all ones that converts this so this converts to this this converts to this alright now I'm going to distribute that across and you can see if you were to mask off the IPv6 address with the network prefix right this is what you'd get so what I want to do now is I want to and the IPv6 address in the subnet portion with the network prefix length if it's slash 64 this would be all ones here because it would be all ones all the way up to 64 bits so I want to and this with this however I can't do it directly and get my binary result here so I have to kind of do it indirectly what I need to do is is I need to and um, I need to and D1 here which is in decimal with D12 which is the network prefix in decimal in other words I need to and decimal to decimal so I'm gonna go below here and I'll do it two cells below and I'll say equals bit wise anding and it's gonna be D1 comma D12 so I'm anding the decimal of the IPv6 address conversion with the decimal of the network prefix and if I hit check I'll get the decimal answer and this would be the network so now what I need to do is convert this to hex and then convert it to binary so that's what I'll do so I'll go right here and I'm gonna say equals decimal to 
hex. And I'm converting, it looks like D7 to hex four places, four hex characters. And check. So yeah, if the IPv6 address is 22BB and we have a slash 64 prefix, the resulting network will be 22BB, and that's normal. Now, just to see the binary here, I want to convert it to binary. To do that, I click here and I say equals the base function. The number that I want to convert is, let's see here, I want to convert, I think, the decimal. So it's D7, D7 to um, base 2 and I need it to be 16 bits long and check mark and so now I have the anding of this binary with this binary this would be the result in other words there'd be no change because it's all ones in a slash 64 which would result in this address I think I also to get zeros to show up here this is what I did is I, I did I basically I think I distributed this across just so that it would look good so there you go, all zeros, okay? So there it is. There is your network address right here, right? And it's slash 64. Now, to, there's another formula that I did to then basically combine all these together to make it look pretty good. And I'm probably just gonna copy and paste that and then you can see it. So I'll show you what that looks like. And paste equals A2, B2. Yeah, that looks good check all right there it is so that is the resulting address and you can see here it's just combining characters that's all it's just combining characters with ampersands combining cells so this one is combining this cell with 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 this cell and combines it together and it looks like that and for the next one I'll just show you that formula really quickly we put it in here and check mark and it's the same thing so this cell basically combines this 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 and this so it's, it's the same thing so now you see the IPv6 address with the IPv6 network address now for for purposes of proving that it works to prove that it works let's say that the network prefix was slash 60 we go in here we say, what if the network prefix was slash 60? And we change it here. And we say 60. And we change it here. And we say 60. And most importantly, we go down here and we change it to 60 here. In other words, if it was slash 60, it would be FFF0. And now you can see that the address here, IPv6 address in binary, the prefix now has zeros in the subnet hextet. And then it changes the network to the 2001 0db8 FFFF 22B network because the subnet ends on basically that point, right? You know, on the third hextet character, 22B0. Now, the really strange thing happens is what if you had this IPv6 address and the network prefix length? was not on a four bit boundary. In other words, if it's 64, it covers all four hex characters. If it's 60, it covers the first three hex characters. If it's 56, it would be the, two, the first two hex characters. And if it was 52, it would be the first hex character. So the network would be you know, 2, 22, 22B, or 22BB, because it always falls on that four bit boundary. But what if, we change the prefix to 61 and it's no longer on a 4-bit boundary. Now in hexadecimal if the prefix was slash 61 it would actually be FFF8. We put that there, converted to decimal, converted to binary and you can see now in the prefix, right, 16 bits, 32, 48 and then 61 you can see that there's a one here in between in the middle of this B hex character there's a bit here 
So if this was your hex address, if this was your IPv6 address rather, in hexadecimal right here, this was your address, and your mask had 61, 61 in the uh, 61 bits in the network prefix, then the network would be 22B8 because of anding. In other words, when you take this B, which is 1011, and you and it with 1000, you get 1000, and the network is the 22B8 network. So this is where subnetting in IPv6 is a little tricky in that <laughs> if you had a network prefix length that doesn't fall on a four bit boundary in, in a multiple of four, you would have the network prefix in binary falling in the middle of a hex character, which when anded with the address and the prefix would result in the network being kind of um, you know odd or not necessarily what you would think it would be. So it'd be, you know, it's not the 22B network, it's not the 22BB network, it's 22B8 because of the binary anding. And that's it.